couldn't save it. Dude, Kingdom Hearts was... It was, uh... The first game was definitely something. In fact, I love the first game. I feel like the first game was just like all about fleshing out Sora's relationship with the Disney characters. And then Chain of Memories happened and like... I'm not buying a freaking Game Boy Advance to play- to continue the story. Fuck that. And then I got Kingdom Hearts 2 and I don't understand what the fuck was going on, so... Consider the series ruined at that point. No idea what those guys were thinking. When they made playing the, the handheld version a requirement, otherwise you have no idea what's going on in the story. Other other than the first thing you see is uh Shan Yu and Mulan. For whatever reason. And Sora like apparently Sora killed some organization thirteen members. And I didn't understand what the fuck was going on after that. Been better. And sixteen, okay. If they just kept Kingdom Hearts to one console, it would've been fine. But they freaking spread their freaking their freaking games all everywhere, and every single game is canon too. It was a stupid hell. Oh, this is late. So we made it work. Okay, you know what? We got some points off it. I'll take it. We are definitely dying on this. 250. Let's fucking go.
357, so that's 370. Nice. No. Yeah, three, no, 380. Damn. I can't math. I don't know what the score is. Yeah, 380. Okay. We'll go to Zonus. Nostalgia in this song? Really? You play Tekken 3? This is Eddie's, this is Eddie's theme. The Kapo guy. The one where you go to the arcade and everybody plays him like a god because all you do is mash like 3 and 4. Eddie Gordo. As bland as it is, the Tekken announcer is so iconic. Hayachi Mishima. Jin Kazama. Kazuya Mishima. Like, I don't think they, they've changed. I don't think they changed his voice. It's like. It could be the longest voice in, like, fighting games. Even Shao Kahn. Shao Kahn only did, like, what, two or three games? I think. He did like two and three, and then the later, the most recent Mortal Kombat's when he came back as a villain. It was a cheap fuck with Jin. Wait, did those electric wind god fists and the hell sweeps? Horang. Horang was the one with the the stand switching. He had like, he can switch from, what's it called, uh, orthodox and open stance, or I think it was called, something like that. So when you switch stances, his moves change, because in Tekken, like, every button is a limb, and like, he'll face the screen once and then turn his back to the screen. And so like, you have to like, reverse all your buttons. <laughs> 